Welcome back to Court Farm. We are back at the yard after a busy evening's work yesterday. Um, you'll see we've got a fancy bit of kit on the back here, which is the grassland uh, subsoiler from the Maze Plus pack. Now, let's just get that clean and I will show you a bit more dirt on there. There we go. Of course, it's going to save. <laughs> so, our um new area up here by the butcher had got the needs plowing requirement but i wanted to be able to get another cut off this in a few months so we've used the grassland subsoiler which doesn't destroy the grass but it removes the plowing state and i've also done that on the pig uh area enclosure pasture thing so, yep, yeah, that's all done, which is rather good. Um, the other thing we have done is I finally bought the soil map uh, for um, field 30. And we've also got one for up here now. Done the lime in, done the nitrogen. Got this weird thing again where it likes to miss bits. And we did the same down here. So... All good, all prepared. Not that we might probably won't do anything with 30, but we'll see. Um, what else has been going on? Um, not a fat lot, really. Got the baling done up at the butchers. In fact, let's have a butchers at the butchers. If we just shoot up here. That is running away with the last few um, bits of meat to process. There we go. These are all the bales stacked up. And you can see pH perfect and nitrogen perfect as well. So the job today is to mow our grass field, get that done, get that baled, and then we will move into the next month probably. Keep feeding the pigs um, because we need their health to be kept up. And uh, yeah, we'll see how we get on. So yeah, let's get to it. So one of the first jobs we need to do mostly before I forget actually is to um, quickly spray some herbicide on this uh, grass field just to sort the uh, weed control score out and we also need to do our field of sugar beet and um, that's got a fair few weeds in it but if we just take a look at here 52 you'll see the middle bar which is weed control is currently around 50% so if we now just pull forward a little bit turn on that should now jump up there we go pull on that one and then uh, everything else should sort itself out a bit better next time we harvest but what we will do while we are here is we will have a quick look at the butchers so if we come over here and hit R, there we go, open the menu, you'll see we've now run out of uh, meat and the input uh, ones here. So we've processed everything and we've got 1,111 litres of pork meat, so we can just deactivate that for now. So if we go to time saving stop check oh beauty so for 36 animals was it we moved let's have a look how many we moved 39 so we moved 39 animals but no thank you yes we got 1100 odd liters which then equates to at the minute 21,000 but potentially 28,000 in Feb now I don't think that's actually too bad considering the inputs that we've had to input <laughs> as in the feed I think that's quite reasonable um my plan is to let the animals grow up a bit more. So let's just find an example of 
No, you are too young, porkers. So they're only four months old. So I wonder whether we say we need to feed them for a minimum of 12 months, maybe, before we can sell them. Let's have a quick look. Orca, no, uh, boars. So a boar is 14 months old and that's fully grown. 10, 12 months maybe. So there'll be a fair wait at that point. I mean, we could do a test and get rid of one of the boars, but I don't really want to do that. Um, so yeah, I think 10, 12 months and then we can bring them to the butchers, I think. Let me know what you reckon on that one. I quite like your inputs because I don't want it to be mega, mega easy because at that money, you know, that's pretty decent. But again, we probably spent that much feeding them. So, yeah, let me know what you reckon to that one. Let's see if we can get out here without having a major accident. There we go. Right, we'll head down to the sugar beet field. We'll get that sprayed. There is rain in the forecast, and I think it's due about 10 o'clock. Um, so we'll see how we get on with mowing the grass, but obviously we can just advance the time to uh, get around the shower. So I will see you in the sugar beet field. The spraying underway started right down the bottom end and got ourselves a nice GPS track set. So it's um, already proving to be quite a warm one today. We are having a bit of a heat wave in the UK. <laughs> Been like it all week and uh, yeah, I mean, it's not been too bad in the day, um, but just at night, you know, when you're trying to go to sleep and it's just muggy and warm and oh. Uh, even with a fan on, it is not overly pleasant. Let's try not to smack the straw bales. There we go. So, yeah, it's one of those things, isn't it? Can't be helped. Meant to be nice throughout the weekend as well, which, you know, can't grumble, really. But, uh, yeah, it's just a touch on the warm side. So this field is not going to take us long. But uh, got to be done. Funny, funny texture in this field. Very, very strange. It needs to clear off. <laughs> there we go. Going well. Now, we are on Friday. And since Wednesday, the grain dryer or grain drying, as giants have decided to call it, on Mod Hub, um, or on the testing list, should I say, has been sat testing complete since Wednesday. So, I don't know what's going on with it. Um, it's at this stage where you think, come on, just tell me, I want to know, pass, fail, indifferent. Um, I know I said before it's about being patient, but second submission and uh, yeah i just want to know so yeah come on giants if you're listening uh um, you not hurry up test it please um i want to know because it'd be cool to get it out for the weekend really um i'm not overly hopeful i think the bell bunker took about four attempts to get it through testing so yeah and this one's i guess slightly more complicated but yeah we will see I keep refreshing the, uh, the mod hub page where you can see your mods um, if you're a modder. Um, and yeah, just keep checking on that. But yeah, no, uh, no movement as yet. So they're teasing me. Teasing me, I tell you. So last pass for this field. And then we can put the sprayer away for the year, hopefully. Um, and then we'll crack on, get the brand new mowers attached, and uh, yeah, get some cutting some grass for silage. We are cutting grass again. 
it, it's, I do have to say, it's one of my favourite jobs. It's just, yeah, I, I, and I probably say it every time I do a cut. Um, but it is. It's one of those jobs where you can just hop in, remember to turn on the conditioner <laughs> and the uh, swath mode, and jobs are good and you just sit and go. Um, and funnily enough, watching... It was a watching, I'm clicking my teeth. Uh, Ollie Bloggs, and he was um, windrowing, and uh, he was he pretty much said a very similar thing that you see such a transformation um, in the field rather than uh, when you spray it and stuff. That you know a lot of the things that he does. I suppose it's similar with combining, isn't it? Um, but yeah, he says you see a transformation straight away, which is so true. Um, you know, even in even in game, you do. You know, we've got a completely different look to the field already. So yeah, it's pretty cool. Yield, yeah, mixed bag down to the soil type. We did everything with this one, so whatever we get off this cut is going to be as good as it gets there we go but we've obviously got the addition uh, of the new field by the butcher so that's good what we might do is just run up here like so there we go is this is that lifted up yeah there we go because this end is quite a weird shape so what we might do is go and do an extra bit of a headland up here square off across there and then that's that bit done so where do we want to be over here is probably easiest there we go get it reasonably straight out the trees lower down and get it squared off like I say, ish and then we can just stick on a VCA course and jobs are good in. there we go right I'll get this all squared off and I'll see you in a minute well, we just started the up and down rows and the rain has started so We'll shut the window and we'll hop out and leave that there for now. I think uh, uh, rainbow already, look. Oh, let's see if we can just sneak through the bush. There we go. Right, we're going to go and have a cup of tea. Actually, we're going to have a cup of coffee and uh, I'll see you when the rain has stopped. Back underway with the mowing. So I'll try and sort my headphone lead out. I'm so sorry. Um, <laughs> seem to have nearly strangled myself with it then the utter professional um so yeah quick shower um as in rain shower and uh, we are back going I do like uh, this field because it doesn't take long um but it yields pretty well so and like i said before it's our cash injection so I'm thinking with the butch, obviously we're gonna I've asked the question sort of 10, 10 12 months old um we're gonna sell or deliver the pigs to the butcher. Um but what I'm thinking is that we may as well uh, get the right buttons. We may as well um wait a little bit for the price to increase for the meat that we've got already just so we're maximizing our profits um which makes sense doesn't it really the only other thing i think that we gonna need to do actually no we won't we're pretty good everything's been fertilized everything's been weeded um so yeah, it's just rocking on through to harvest now, which I'm quite excited about, to be fair. <laughs> um, since the updates to the map, um, I believe 
we can now um, get canola straw. So that's quite cool because I know there's a mod um, that you can get all straw from all different crops, but I think Oxygen David has now added it to the map. So we'll give that a go when that becomes ready to harvest. But yeah, I think we just need to crack on now, really. Um, it's going to take a lot to skip um, through the months, purely because um, we've got so many animals. Um, I may have to, I'm thinking, move some between the pens. What happened then? Why did that not go down? Control V. Come on. There we go. Um, because we're already over capacity. Um, I think we're within the sort of, uh, not tolerance, but the, the window where we're not too overcrowded. Um, because with the enhanced animal system, if you get to, I think it's double the capacity of the pen, then you start to... Uh, miss out on health which is not what we want so need to keep an eye on that it might mean that we have to take some um of the pigs or the porkers to the butcher a bit earlier this time um just because we've got a bit of a backlog but uh we'll see um i don't intend to do too much uh, transporting but just enough to keep ourselves um, at a point where we're not going to start losing animals because that is not what we want oh, there we go so I think the plan is just to finish this up we've got what probably one and a bit more passes due to the wonky shape of the field um, and then we'll grab the baler and we'll start getting some bales made and wrapped uh, so yeah, I'll catch you in a minute. Well, I've done the headlands and we're on to the up and down rows and I'm just a little bit conscious that all we've done really lately is silage work. So it's tricky because it's that time of year. We are, it's not a lull because <laughs> there isn't really a lull in farming, I suppose, but we're now... We've got all the fields um, as good as they're going to get. Um, you know, the animals are fine at the moment. Ooh, pay attention. There we go. So, yeah, it's just one of them. It's sort of finding filler jobs, I guess you'd say. Um, and the fact that, you know, it's very warm. I feel myself getting a headache, and it's like, oh, really? I want to be... I want to be in, not enjoying it because I do enjoy this otherwise it'd be utile to do it but do you know what I mean it's like I really want it to be great um so what I think I'm going to do is I'm going to stick with it for this video because you know it, it can't be helped you know like I say it's one of those things that is a must um this is our sort of cash lifeline we're uh making now um but definitely next episode we will be into july um and we'll be starting the harvest which i'm really looking forward to um just because we didn't really get to do much um of our own anyway we did a we did one or two contracts can't remember now um but yeah we had the corn and we had the beet harvest didn't we so you know we've done a little bit but it'll be good to uh get into our fields and get them in the silo you know it's uh because then we should be at the point where we won't need to buy any more food hopefully that's the plan anyway 
for the pigs we can just use what we've grown and uh, yeah then it's the how long will it last sort of question but yeah so that's the plan um i'll push on we'll get this done and then we'll start i might start the process of skipping uh time because you know it's six days so there's going to be a fair amount of work to uh keep the pigs fed keep them at 100 percent health um and also keeping an eye on the levels of the animals in the pens like i said earlier so we don't um start to lose the health and and i think it may actually if it gets too high start to sell the animals potentially which is going to be uh, not a good thing so yeah we need to keep an eye on that right i'll push on do a bit more and oh look they're harvesting again over here quick uh, quick turn around on that field but um but yeah i'll crack on do a bit more and we'll catch up shortly so we're not too far off done and uh sort of in between in between clips i put my teeth back in um i generally have a bit of a peruse of the tinter web um and yeah ref <laughs> refresh mod hub still no movement um but mr cdp has just hit 100,000 subscribers which is awesome he seems to have been at that sort of 99,000 and whatever for ages so fair play mr cdp fair play i don't care what your opinion is of the boat he's a grafter and uh i know it's his job but the effort that he puts in and his patience with just because the console players have to do stuff the long way you know i'm choosing to do this myself um but we could have you know set the mowers on course play copied the course set the bait on that and just sat and watched it um from a, from afar you know we could have collected the bales maybe and that would be it but he's they have, he has to do everything so you know if you haven't watched his frontier series i know that map's a bit marmite for people um but you know he's he was loading up dirt i think it was by hand uh, with a shovel filling a little trailer throwing it around with a trike and some dedication you know and like i say it's his job but and me and disturb have said this before you know one bad video you know it can really affect your your income you know so yeah fair play and congratulations mr cdp that is a massive milestone and i'm sure he's dead chuffed with it so we've got one more pass i have not looked at how many we've got um did reset the bell counter there is a few bits that where the swath has been quite wide that uh, I've missed. Uh, not we, I. <laughs> so we'll uh, go and grab them just to sort of tidy the place up a bit. But we should definitely get one more out of this. There we go. And then once we're done, we'll have a look at the total. And then we'll call it for this episode can't remember how much nitrogen we put down whether we over applied or whether we just did enough but we can have a, a little hop out in a second i don't think we're going to get a full bale but we'll get that bit down this pass and then we'll call it lift the pickup up pick up up easy for you to say and there's a big chunk over there i can see and I don't think we're going to get another bale, are we? So, let's have a look. 35. Jobs are good and Happy with that. There we go. Right. Go and grab this lumpy bit over here. And then we'll hop out the tractor and check on the pH and the nitrogen. Hopefully we're all right. So we can turn that off lift that up and fold up the wrapper now what i might do is um 
take the baler to our uh, workshop and change the wrap colour just so uh, yeah we know the difference between first cut and second cut so yeah nitrogen is absolutely fine pH is good so we're probably all right for next cut so let's get into here we'll get round to the workshop pick a different colour um, and we might make a start on the collecting of the bales I'm hoping that the Massey is going to have enough grunt um, for it just look a little bit high on the hitch but we'll see let's stick some beacons on there we go right I'll see you in a second when we're back in the yard so we might as well just repair it before we customize um what can we go for let's go for pink there we go do we have a plate on it before i don't think i don't think we need one there we go and we will customize that all we'll repair the mowers while they're here there we go keep them looked after where is my JCB that can stay there for now right Massey uh, operating position B and we will get a load full and store them goodness knows where there we go right I'll whiz round we'll get these picked up and then what we'll do is we'll advance to May the 2nd, not May the 4th, but um, Star Wars joke. And then we will feed the animals and that'll be it for this episode. So into May 2 and we've got pig problems. Um, remember how I said about overcrowding and affecting health? We find the animal trigger, which I think is about here. No, here, no, here, 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 here. Where on earth is the trigger? Right, let's do it the easy way. So, um, improvised pig shed. Um, health is dropping. Food, they've got enough of. But the health is shocking because, and if I could find the gosh darn trigger, the thought was here. Tell you what, let's stop faffing. And there it is. <laughs> um, you'll see we've got 81 over the 25 capacity that we're at, that we've got so we can have up to 50 before it becomes a problem um so yeah we are well over that um we do have space in the other um pasture but if we just run over here and you'll see yeah under 73 so yeah we got up to 240 in that one but if i and now i'm jumping between menus i'm sorry um they've run out of protein food so that's why their health is going down so we can sort that dead easy we just need to feed them <laughs> um the other ones i'm not so sure on i think we're going to just have to sell some because the butcher won't take them because they're not 100 percent health so yeah, this is what we're saying. We're gonna have to just take the hit, I think. Um, so right, we need the JCB, we need the animal trailer, and we need to start shifting some pigs. Unfortunately, unfortunately, um, yeah, a bit annoyed, but until we get into a rhythm, we are gonna have this problem. So let's get ourselves the JCB, hook up to the trailer, and yeah, I'll. Uh, load up and head up to the animal dealer so what i've done is sent the uh, fast track up to the animal dealer whilst we take care of the pigs 
here getting them fed now <laughs> what i think i'm gonna do is we are good for um three out of four food types at the minute so what we're gonna do rather than buy the doika pig food we are going to see if we can buy some brewer's grain i can't remember if it is in this section. I don't. I thought you could buy it. Is it in? Let's have a look under maize plus chicken food, chicken food, beet pellets, grain grist, horse food, mineral feed. No. Big food, no. I thought there was an option to buy it. Now, what it might need is me to have a think. I reckon if we put in, there's a silo where you can buy anything from it and just do it that way, I think might be the easiest i'm just double checking no 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 and that's all the cool equipment that comes with maze plus so if we right what space have we got in the yard it is <laughs> relatively limited uh i mean here would be good, but I don't think we're going to get it in there, are we? Um, let me have a think, and I'll be back with you. But the only place, really, <laughs> around the yard for this... not I'm not going to call it inconspicuous, but it's a, you know, relatively sized silo is here. Um, I'm thinking if we get it as close to the fuel tank as we can... And just click that one. So now, hopefully, if we grab the... What do we want to do first? Let's get the old class. We'll get the bucket on. We will give it a whirl to see if we can just stick the bucket underneath and load some brewer's grain into that. Um... Failing that, we'll just have to stick the trailer on, I reckon. Um, the JCB has reached the animal dealer, so that's good as well. In fact, what we might do is just drop this here a second. And tab our way up to here, where... There we go. We can sell pigs there we go now bring that back up and send it back to summer lane farm medium petrol tank and we can now grab the bucket there we go there's me saying oh you know it's quiet we're, we're just you know passing time <laughs> I may have spoke too soon. So, tip the bucket up. There we go. And get ourselves underneath the silo. Blends in rather nice, doesn't it? <laughs> oh dear. Right, let's see if we can't. Aha, there we go. Come on, give me the... Give me the option. No. It's the other one. There's a specific one, isn't there, for Brewer's Grain? Or we could just buy... I know there's a lot of thinking going on here. No. It's not going to be... It's not the one. Right. We lost a quid. Never mind. <laughs> Into construction. Just drop the old DPI back down and get rid of that. Yes. Okay. 
and its container and brewer's grain there we go v so we can place it anywhere we want and we'll go for there again there we go right let's try again shall we oh hallelujah right nice full load 228 pounds there we go and we'll go and dump this lot into the trough which should sort them out nicely for that protein section there we go get that up tip that there and we'll check look at that going up nicely there we go put all of that in oh jobs are good and right <laughs> panic over so i think it's just rinse and repeat really i need to get rid of a fair few more animals in here because you can see the health drops every hour until we've got it under that 50 percent over so if that makes sense so we need to get down to at least 50 um so yeah rinse and repeat and we'll catch up in a little minute right then so we've done half a bucket of grain grist and now we're just putting in the energy food is that full yes just is Let's just lower the bucket down. Pick that up. There we go. So they're relatively balanced now, which is good. Um, these guys are all full. Water's done as well. So whew, we've recovered it, but still got uh, probably one more delivery um, to the animal dealer. Ooh to the animal dealer to make just so we are definitely under um the sort of threshold for the pigs so the jcb shouldn't be too far away hopefully turn that off and have a look yep yeah, just on its way to us that's an interesting route um so yeah we'll get another load loaded up and I'll see you back at the animal dealer. We'll get those sold. And then that'll be it for today. Because, yeah, it's all, all a bit pear-shaped. But quite cool. Um, got the old brain matter thinking. I know we've had to sacrifice some pigs. Um, could have maybe built another shed somewhere. But, yeah, just got to keep an eye on the reproduction numbers. And, yeah, keep, uh, like I say, get into a bit of routine. Um and maybe we do have to use the butchers more often than we thought maybe but yeah we'll see we'll get into a rhythm soon enough and yeah hopefully not have to sell any piglets again in the future okay down at the animal dealer with a load of what have we got for? there we go uh piglets i did take one of the older ones for two of the older ones unfortunately um but i just wanted to make a bit more space so how many of these five we've got of those there we go and then two of those there we go oh well <laughs> it's just yeah pig problems big problems Thank you very much to the YouTube channel members and the Patreons for supporting this madness. Um, yeah, a completely and utterly random end to the episode. I thought we'd just be skipping through the months now, um, which we will be, but I thought we'd have done a bit of that on, on camera. Um, but yeah, I guess this is the life of a pig farmer. <laughs> um, I've enjoyed that surprisingly um 
a bit stressful when you see the health going down. Um, but yeah, we got there in the end. All right, we've had to sacrifice quite a bit of income um, through the meat uh, that we would have produced from those piglets. But needs must, you know, we've got to keep the health up uh, to be able to uh, even deliver to the butcher. So yeah, never mind. Um, so yeah, thank you very much for watching, everybody. I hope you've enjoyed it. If you have, leave a like. Think about subscribing to the channel. And I will see you in the next one. Take care.